the sounds of summer. Welcome everybody to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. Today, in this video, we're gonna do something, well, different. So, let's go for a walk and I'll tell you what I'm doing. I've come to the realization that everything around here takes two years to complete or get back to doing. Uh, a couple years ago, we did a video here and out back there in the woods i found a small dump this is a little park but back here amongst or past the tree line there is stuff but one of the stuffs because it's in pieces is a big stoneware crock that i just remember being like wow look at all the pieces maybe someday we'll come back get it and bring it home. So I'm guessing it shouldn't be too difficult to find. Again, this is the, essentially, the side yard from where the house used to sit. And you guys can see the wall down there. So, as uh, customs would go back in the old days, and especially before public dumps, you would, well, dump it in your backyard. Like all that stuff and uh, car parts. Actually, there's lots of car stuff back there. Now that I'm at the wall... Oh, actually... There it is. All the pieces that I kind of moved around. And my expectations are by no means to actually, you know, completely find all the pieces, but I want to get the pieces I can and bring it back home because as you can imagine, this thing was huge. So, let's see what we can find. Other than the four pieces that I I can't remember if it was exactly right here if I put these here. As you can see as I just scratch around a little bit, there are some small pieces. Oh nice, right where I put you guys. Big hinge. Oh, I think we're actually gonna do... All right, oh, there's another piece with blue. Excellent. Oh, interesting. You know what we're dealing with here? I believe two crocs. Oh yeah, it's definitely two different crocs. Look at this. How's that for an incidental find? Big dinnerware knife. Look at the pommel on that. I don't know what it's made of. Handles, scales are gone. Massive, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Well, I think I found as much as I'm gonna find. This is definitely gonna take a couple trips. More like three trips. I just found this 
transferring. Somebody had pulled it out of the woods and a couple of huge pieces. Awesome. Sorry, I ended up with a lot more than I thought. So there's no doubt we are dealing with two vessels here. This size, that size, but you said we did have four handles? Yes. Okay, that's good. All right, so that goes. What's that over angle? That. And I wonder if this. Beautiful, look at that. I'm hoping this angle here fits with that. Uh -huh. Yes! Wow! Yep. Wow, this thing's huge! Holy smokes! So essentially that's four pieces. It's upside down. That's the top, but you know, gravity is easier this way. I wonder if that's like a maker's mark or something. I don't know, it's pretty. Yeah, that is cool. So that is the smaller one. And as you guys can see, we have a lot of the larger pieces. Oh, that goes there. Together. Especially the bottom, which is great because it's going to be something to glue this together and make sure it is precise and stays precise during the process. Because it's not like you can do it all at once and just leave it. It's going to have to be a chunk at a time. So this is china and glass cement. Should work. Lou's locked up, right? Yes. Lou man, we're going to be working with some uh, heavy duty glue in here and we know your history with super glue so yeah, I know you like the taste of it but just stay out here alright? So what we're going to attempt to do is actually use painter's tape to hold the pieces together or see if it'll stay together and not shift after we glue them. So this is definitely a two-person process. Obviously not in applying the glue, but it's working really well. Just putting a small strip all the way down the center. Directions imply hold for 45 seconds and wait, I don't know, six hours to throw in the dishwasher, which this is not going. But the important part for two people is when you get it exactly where hopefully it goes is to hold it with a lot of pressure and then Jen's on the other side putting the tape on and you know this has taken us about I don't know a minute and a half per big piece and when I let go it's definitely already stuck I and mean, I wouldn't want to stand on it but 
hopefully everything's aligned so when we put all the big pieces together, it stays together. Yeah, we're all nice and flush. Good? Yeah. Okay, well, it's the next day and everything is still in place. We essentially have three large pieces, top and bottom. Yeah, this shark fin was taped on, or I'm sorry, glued on tape obviously, but it's firm, no wiggle. So we are going to attempt, and hopefully everything lines up, put the top on and see if and what we are missing for pieces. I have a feeling that something over here is definitely missing because there's nothing on this that lines up, but we'll see. Oh, right. Actually, with the tube, after the fact, it does a pretty good job of, you can squeeze it and it goes <clears throat> right into those cracks. Sealing the cracks. Now we'll clean it up after. What do you smell, the glue? Lou? No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> Come on, we've been down this road no, before. No, no, no. no, no. So now that all the pieces we have are in place, again, we're just gonna wedge in what we can in the exposed cracks. Well, we gotta let it sit. But, as you can see, we're missing a few pieces. This is gonna take a bit because <laughs> they're smaller than we thought. And realistically, you know, we're just going to try to work this area. Hopefully nothing popped and flew. But we'll get what we can. Got a lot more than I thought we would have had from the start. Come here and extract. You found these? Maybe, look. Oh ho ho. Yes indeedy. Oh, oh we have the handle too. Wait, so this goes to the smaller one. I don't know. We have the handles already. Right, but there was one side that was broken because remember we couldn't mix ma uh, match. It does look thick like it would be yeah. the big one. Oh, big chunk. Oh, nice, nice. Nice, right. Right in here. It's going downward. Oh, it's a big piece. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Good job. Nice. I'm going to stay right in this area. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Oh, no. That, the pieces we have... Um... We're not missing any tops. Right. That... And we're not missing any of the blue. Jeez, huh. maybe there's three down here. Oh. Because... <laughs> Unless that goes to the small one, but I can't recall what the rim looked like. I got another piece. Oh, oh yes. I think that's the one. Oh my god. That, that one side that. Well, well, like all oh, that. Hopefully, that's one big piece. Oh. Good yep. job. Remember this? This? Yep. Oh, yes. Well, that's what we got. Let's hope for the best. Well, that's one of the coolest things we've ever done. So, obviously we didn't get every single piece, but I can't believe we got as much as we did. Just this one side, maybe it's where it took the, uh, the impact. I'm gonna keep the tape on the inside for a little bit longer, but you would not believe how heavy this thing is. Never mind if you loaded it with 
product. So, you know, you see stuff like this out in the ground, if you think there's a chance, collect it. We had a blast, Jen and I, doing this. It was a, you know, real life puzzle and we got to preserve something and it'll look great in here. How cool is that? All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you all very soon. Get out and put something back together and enjoy You're Not Thursday. Mm -hmm.